driving to Montreal for two days and I am driving on the highway since the past half hour and yeah, our very first road trip. As you can see, it was a lot of fun driving. It was a pretty long drive. It took us eight hours to get here from Toronto, and it was pretty tiring. Due to but traffic. traffic and accident. An accident. There were two accidents, um, but nonetheless, we have a day and a half, almost two days. So we're gonna make the best use of it, and we're just gonna walk through old Montreal today, go look at the sunset, and then let's just see how things go. heading to this place called Venice. It's a restaurant and it's all inspired by um, the Venice Beach in LA and we're super excited to go there because I have lived in LA and my husband loves the LA vibes but yeah we're just gonna head over there right now. Just walking through old Montreal. Old Montreal, yeah. So basically, it's just an area in Montreal which is old, and obviously the architecture here and the streets here are pretty different. Um, they have cobbled streets, and buildings are much more prettier than the modern version of Montreal. preparing for the winter and as you can see I'm all good to go. So stop, stop. <laughs> we found this really cute thrift store in the middle of nowhere and look and we have already started my winter shopping because we literally have one month for summer outfits and then I have to wear winter stuff anyway. But we're loving the store and honestly everything is dirt cheap and the store is huge so I'm gonna put the address for the store in the description box so make sure you check it out if you guys are visiting Montreal I'm gonna transform into a what is this eagle duck it looks like a penguin okay you guys decide oh. hey can we do some poses can we see some poses like you know the... <laughs> <laughs> These shades actually, I bought these shades. Oh, they're crooked. Are these crooked? No. Yeah, they are. No, they're not. Not yet. I think they look crooked. Let me see. Do these look crooked? Now we're just gonna go around the city on these big sea bikes. And basically, there are so many stations all around the city, and you can just grab a bike, dock it every 30 minutes, and that's it. Just that's the best way to see any city in the world. Yeah. 
The bagel that we had was pretty crappy and we went, we came on a bike uphill for 20 minutes just to come to the spot and we found out that this is the place that they make the bagels which they supply to grocery stores. Nonetheless, we had it. It was an experience. We really want to try good bagels because Montreal is known for really good bagels and their poutine. Um, so we're just gonna try the bagel store right now and then we might just head over to a poutine store so we can try that as well. We have Le Fabri Day Bagel. It's like a very popular bagel store in Montreal and it's crazy how many options they have. So I got the seasoned bagel with dill pickle cream cheese. I got the uh, everything, bagel everything bagel with jalapeno. With jalapeno. Okay. All right, cheers. Yeah. They're pretty good. They're good. That was honestly like the best bagels that I've had in a very long time. And we had a similar bagel store in New York when I was living there. I used to have that all the time. So I'm super glad that I actually had that over here. And now we're gonna head over to a poutine store. And a poutine is basically french fries with cheese and gravy and some toppings and stuff. But mostly the gravy is meat based. So I don't know what we're gonna find since all of us are vegetarians. So we just had the poutine and honestly I'm not really a fan of fries especially if it's like my first meal in the morning. So now we've made our way to the St. Joseph's Oratory. So that's it for my vlog. Thank you so much for spending your time watching it and you'll be seeing me again next time. Bye!